I think it's it's really important to do it for any for any areas of science science because um, many of us our funding comes from 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 government so the public is is funding the research and it's really important that the results of that research are are available to to people through um, so that it's not just in academic papers that are very difficult to read and very few people read them. Um, and so how do you, and, and how you communicate is a real, um, is a real challenge because um, I think especially for scientists, because scientists, um, myself included, we like to be really careful and um, we like to be really precise. And so it's difficult to, it's, and that's, Often it's often then difficult to make that um, simple enough without saying, "Oh, but there's this," you know, qualifying everything because you don't want to make it sound like um, you don't understand it. Or um, and also, and the IPCC, you know, for example, with this, it's like when they when they say, um, you know, we have ninety nine percent confidence. In something you know how do you actually how confident are you about your results and most scientists are also quite hesitant about saying that they have these findings because you know I've only done one study I need to go and study 10 more ecosystems before I can say this so I think they're they're the some of the challenges that we have but I think it's it's a really important because that is where our funding comes from and Ultimately, if we don't communicate with people, how can how can we make sure that we do it, it doesn't it doesn't matter if I understand that climate change is affecting ecosystems in Antarctica if nothing happens as a result of that. So how do we make those those um, all of the scientists that are doing the research on climate change? What they want is for people to act on that, to change, change what we do as a society, our economics, our politics, our, our, our society. Our so, you know, so this is the area of social sciences. But how do we change it so that we do act on climate? Um, and, and the science, you know, if you look at the last IPCC report, there's no question really that climate, there's no, no longer any question that we are changing the Earth's climate and that there are extreme events happening because of that that are killing people. And so, you know, we can look at heat waves in France. We can look at, I'm sure, even these heat waves in Argentina and the ones in Western Australia at the moment, there will probably be more people turning up to hospitals because of those heat waves. We, we can't deal with those sorts of temperatures. So how do we make make those how do we get people to understand the importance of taking action and part of that you can do through storytelling um, but it's also I think in working with social scientists and working with people to understand what it is that changes people's minds because um, that's the stage that I think we're at in terms of climate change because we actually have to, we all have to take it seriously. We all have to act on it. Mm -hmm.